Hi. Mr. Dubbers here, coming at you with another Call of Duty World War II gameplay. And today, we're going to be playing on some Gibraltar TDM. Well, I'm going to tell you guys a story. Uh, I went 31 and 9 today. I think I'm going to be using the Type 100 class here. I'll put that up on the screen for you. And really, what's just going on is uh, I'm going to tell you about the first time I had ISS in high school. Well, actually, I wasn't not in high school. Let me clarify that real fast. I was in eighth grade. It was my last class of the day. And I was like, all right, guys, one more class. And so I walked to class like I do to every other class, obviously. Duh. And uh, it was my science class. And it was a Friday afternoon. And actually, the next day was October 31st, Halloween. So I was really excited. I was like, all right, guys, last class. Let's get this over with. Halloween's tomorrow. And everyone was talking about what they were going to do for Halloween and what their plans were. Most people in 8th grade just trying to go trick-or-treat and look cool. But they're just old kids and they don't really care what they're doing. So I walk into my 8th grade class and I sit down and I'm waiting for the bell to ring. And the bell finally rings and my teacher goes, So what are you guys' plans for Halloween? Typical teacher, loser stuff. Um, he was actually kind of annoying, but he'll never see this, so it's... Sorry right if I make fun of him. And so, I was sitting in the very back of the classroom, obviously, because who would want to sit in the front of the class? That's only what, like, the weird kids do. And if you're a weird kid, there's nothing wrong with that. Just weird kids sit in the front. That's socially acceptable in my heart. So people start going around, talking about where they're going, trick-or-treat, whose houses they're going to, what their parents are doing. Just, you know, typical Halloween stuff. And I, they get to me. And I was not in a good mood that day. To be completely honest, we're not in a good mood. So I'm just like, let's just let's just have a little fun. And so I, I was like, all right, I'm going to go to your house and dress up as a wife beater and throw eggs at it. And um, so he wasn't really socially accepting of that. And this was actually, um, he didn't really get mad, but he was. And then toward the end of class, he's like, Christian, I need you to go to the office. And I'm like, this is my last class. I'm ready to go home. And so the bell rings. And he's like, go to the office. And I'm like, okay, so you know me, my smart ass. Just starts walking home. Like, I just start walking out to my car where I drive home with my sister because she was older than me. And uh, I get to my car. And all of a sudden, I just see him storming through the parking lot. And he's like, Christian, get in the office now. And I was like, oh, wow. That's a, that's a bit intense um, actions coming toward me. And so... He, like, basically drags me out of my car, walks me, like, a half mile back to the school, because parking lots were not close to the school, because why would they do that at a private school? Who knows? And so, I start walking back, I start walking to the office, and I'm just sitting there waiting. And, like, my sister's texting me, like, where are you? We're trying to leave and go home. It's Friday. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm like, I want, I want to leave, too. I don't want to go to the, like, to the office. Why would I want to do that? So I get in the office, and... What do you know? The principal is doing the car line outside because it's a private school, so there's all all the grades. So I have to wait like 30 minutes for him to finally get done doing the car line, for him to walk up to the office and be like, "All right, what did you do?" And so I basically started telling him, and he's like, "We're just gonna deal with this on Monday because it's Halloween weekend, and I really just want to go home and see my kids." And I was like, wow, what a complete waste of my time. And now my sister's mad because she was waiting on me the whole time. And I never came out because I couldn't use my phone. I was sitting in the middle of the principal's office. And the teacher was staring me down. So the whole weekend goes by. Halloween's fun. Nothing too, nothing really happens. Just running around stealing candy from bowls. Taking the whole bowl. Because who, who doesn't do that? When we come back Monday, and the first thing you know, I go to class. And I, Christian, go to the office. I get called out of class. I'm like, okay. So I get in the office and I... And my teacher's in there, the one I told him I was going to dress up as a wife beater and egg his house. He's in there. And he gets to the point where it's like, um, so what'd you do? And we, we explained to him again because he forgot because it was the weekend and he didn't really care. And we start explaining. He's like, did your house get egged? He was talking to my teacher too because he was in there. And he was like, well, no, my house didn't get egged. And so the teacher wanted to give me three days detention or one day ISS. And I was like, I do not want to go to three days of detention in a row. That sounds miserable. So I'm like, screw it, let's just do the one day of ISS. So I choose ISS and I go 
to my class, of course, to get going to ISS. And I didn't know there was an ISS class. Turns out there actually wasn't. He lied. There's. I just sit in the principal's office all day. So my day starts off horrible. And the first thing the principal tells me to do of my ISS class, he was like, hey, you need to write a full page paper apologizing to your teacher. And he said, you're going to egg his house. And my first instinct was like, you got to be joking. Nothing even happened. It was just what I said. So I started explaining to him what I was doing. And he was just like, like I was, I was explaining that I was sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I was explaining I was sorry. And he was just like, what? I gave it to him and he didn't even care. Like I just explained I was sorry. And he was like, oh, thanks. And then like, they just tried to continue like everything was normal. But one thing we forgot to say is when I chose ISS, I was in high school basketball. Well, I was playing up because it was a uh, 7th, 8th, ninth grader was a JV team. And I was an 8th grader, so I was playing varsity. So I was playing with the 10th, 11th, 12th graders. And they forgot to tell me that if you get ISS, then you get a one-game suspension. And this was at the very beginning of the basketball season. So I get my one-game suspension on our very first game, and I can't play in it. Like, there's no way around it. It's like triple our triple a rules like we couldn't get around that, that we i was going to be suspended for that game so then the next day comes around tuesday which is the game day and uh no one knew that i was suspended yet so i had to go and explain to everyone why i was suspended from our first opening game and i couldn't play to help the team win and luckily we ended up did winning but the coach was so mad at the teachers and principal, like he had to go storm into their office. He was explaining how mad he was and how dumb it was for them to suspend me for one game and all this other random BS that who even cares about. So basically, my first day, my first time ever getting ISS was a huge shit show because I couldn't play the sport that I loved at the time. Screw basketball now. Who does that these days? And um, that's just where he left off. It was uh, not a super exciting story, but it was full of a bunch of. And I'm just uh, glad that I'm, uh, you know, got that over with. And then I continued on after running for three days straight in practice about how I got ISS. My coach was not very amused with this. And um, I think I'm just going to let the gameplay play out through here and. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this game. Uh, I think the rest may be uh, not too interesting, but I hope you uh, come back for another video, maybe another story time, maybe my next video will be highlights. Who knows? We gotta let my man Kawatha Tipper get online, hop in a party, and let this thing go. Anyways, like, comment, su su and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys another time. Bye.